cop and you say you have a subordinate officer underneath you that needs to be trained, disciplined, and monitored better because I believe that he thought that he had the right to do X, Y, and Z to me. But you know and I know he has no right to do so. Is that simple? So am I looking uh, for the certified, verified complaint and seeing if it's signed? That was what I was getting from the law. No. All the silly, all the all the silly is authenticated, certified, complete copy of the case file. You're trying to use all this other stuff that I, I, I absolutely have no idea what you're talking about. But that, that whatever you just said, okay, that's way too much. All you're looking for is the guy in charge. If you can't find the subordinate officer, you go to the top guy because his name is easy because it's in big, you know, 22 font letter all across the billboards. Well, this um, particular letter, actually, they have the man's name. It's the Village Justice. It's that sign. It's at the top in bold, and it's in the bottom. It's not a signature, but, um, yeah, so I actually do have a name with this. But as I said, I have already, they've already failed to give me my trial, and there's actually more issues here. There's a conflict of interest with the They, they didn't fail to do anything. You just, you failed in, in the exercising of your rights. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't hit them to a dude that you got rights and if they interfere with your right to access a court that they're going to be held liable. Say that again? If they interfere with my right to access the court, they're going to be held it's liable? A, it's a public court. You can only right. you, yeah, Dude, it's 2 o'clock. Dude, it's 2.15. If you want to go down there and hold court right now, nobody and there has no power on planet Earth to interfere with your right to hold court any damn court in New York City you want to right now. If they interfere with your right to access a public building, court is always open 24-7, 365. Watch any of these King of England movies. Watch Queen Elizabeth movie. She wakes up at like 2, 3 in the morning and she's like, has a dream and says, oh my God, call up all my ministers, call up all my sir, get the court ready. The queen has, the queen's going to hold court right now. But ma'am, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. Get my fucking court ready. <laughs> court is open 24-7. Court's open 24-7. And if you listen to my past shows, I talked to a uh, judge, Judge William William uh, Owens was his last name. He's in Bibb County. And I told you guys a billion freaking times. When I got there, the first thing I did, when I introduced myself to him, the first time I met him, because he was the ninth judge, and he had to come all the way from Bibb County, 100 miles away, the first damn thing I asked him was when his court open. He looked over at the bailiff. He says, I don't know, I'm new here to Jefferson County. Uh, bailiff, when's the court open? Uh, 9 to 5, Your Honor. Uh, and I looked at the judge, and he says, oh, 9 to 5 call. I said, oh, is this how we're going to play? You think I'm a fucking moron? Do I look stupid? Do I look like a bitch? You think you're just going to sit here and fuck me? You think I'm a moron? When is court fucking open? And he's like, 24-7. Uh, I said, 24-7 what? 24-7-365? He's like, yes, sir. I said, so when can I hold court? He's like, whenever you wish. I said, thank you, sir. It was funny because the attorney general's office was standing to the right laughing when I was going around around with the judge. I said, oh, when is the term of this court? He said, I said, six months? He said, no, a year. A year when you sit? He said, yeah, a year from the moment I sit. Uh, have you been seated yet, judge? Yes, I've been seated about 15 minutes now. So about one year now? We One year from this, this from fi minus 15 minutes? He said, yes. I said, good. And when, when I want to convene a court because I want to submit a fucking uh, an emergency motion before this court, when will it convene? He says, oh, call, let's be reasonable about this. I said, what, when can it convene? He says, oh, call, I live 100 miles away here. I said, when will it convene? I said, if I want to hold court at 2.07 a.m., when will you appear? He said, well, as fast as I can. And when will the smiling fucking clown of an attorney general office, when will he appear? Well, we'll get the sheriff's department to issue him the fucking summons to appear immediately. He'll appear at 3 o'clock in the morning, right? He's like, you're damn right he will. He said, but call, let's be reasonable about this. You're not going to do that to me, are you? I said, sir, what do you believe is reasonable? He says, well, can you give me at least 14-day notice before you hold court? I said, I'll do one better. I'll make it 30 days. He said, 30 days. I said, dude, I live 600 miles away from here. I got livestock to tend to. I got a life. I got I to gotta close up a fucking farm. I said, 30 days is fast for me. And he started laughing. He said, well, that's more than reasonable. I said, yes, sir. I said, you're not looking at it from my side of the coin. It's a burden for me to come down here. You think it's rough on you to drive 100 miles on a freeway? Huh, I got to drive 600 miles over mountains and close up a farm. 
He says, oh, okay, okay. He says, I could work with you. I said, yes, sir. I'm a very reasonable man. So me and the judge got along great. I got his business card and I put it on the, on my on the, on the website so everybody can see this is the judge. If you guys want to call, say, is any of this bullshit call saying it's true? Well, this is the same exact story I told the U.S. Marshals down in Roanoke, Virginia. <clears throat> I said, and I gave him his business card. I said, call the judge. You think I'm fucking lying? Call the judge. He's the one who took me out in the hallway. He's the one who showed me how to file an appeal. He's the one who explained to me uh, uh, how to get a copy of the contract from the state because he realized what the state was doing. He said, but honestly, call on the contract law. I can't make them appear with a contract. They said, you lost your copy. You're shit out of luck. They don't have to provide you a second copy. I said, ho, ho, ho. I said, he says, you know and I know they're fucking you. He says, well, let me just pass the final judgment against you. He said, you know, I file an appeal. I said, no, sir. I never went to the appeal process. This was back in 2007. I said, no, I never filed an appeal in my life. I never had to go that far. He says, well, he said, uh, you know, let me pass judgment. Meet me on the hallway, and I'll show you how to file an appeal. So me and this, this judge, we were walking down. His guy in a black robe was walking next to my goofy-looking ass. And uh, down the hallway, and I was taking notes on how to file an appeal. Then he says, "Hey, Carl, you got a cell phone I could borrow?" I said, "Yeah." He says, "Hey, let me use it." And he called up the uh, Alabama Supreme Court. And he says, "Hey, is John around here?" Yeah, I got a guy. He's never filing an appeal, and I know John's in charge of the appeals. Um, can you uh, walk this man through the appeals? And uh, he's a real good guy, and uh, you know, and, uh, and he's and uh, you know, I'll try to help him as much as you can. So then the judge handed me the cell phone and said, hey, this man's name is John. He's a real good guy. He's in charge of the court down there, and uh, he'll help you with any questions you got. So then we walked out in the parking lot. I said goodbye to the judge. He said goodbye to me, and boom, you know. And I went down to his courthouse one time to ask him a couple of questions, and uh, that's the last time I ever saw him. So when people say, oh, judges are all evil, cruel, and they, the court's not open 24-7, oh, yeah? If you get if you if you... If you ask the judge it in the proper manner, in the proper way, and he sees that you're not a moron, they'll, they'll, they'll snap to attention in a heartbeat. So, like I said, don't, you know, don't say, well, of course, those open calls crazy. You know, none of this shit called does ever work. So, oh, really? When you know what you're doing, they'll snap to attention. They'll say, shit, I'm not getting involved with this cat. This cat's crazy. He's going to tear me up. Kitty's got claws. He might look like a pushover of a man. This guy's crazy. I can question everything. I can set the prosecutor up, and I have lots of the officer. Like I said, it's when you really know what you're doing, they will know instantly to not tangle with you. It's usually by the little, the, the least amount that you say, and you let them talk, and they will hang themselves all the time. But if you think you're going to go in there and you're going to read them the riot act and you're going to tell them the law and you're going to tell them how it is, like I did with the judge, it's like, judge, when is the term of this court? Six months? He's like, well, no, it's a year. A year from the time you're seated? Yes. Have you been seated yet? Yes. How long? Well, about 15 minutes. So it's one year minus 15 minutes, the term of this court? Yes. So like I said, when you go in there and you start asking them questions like that and they're answering you, they're like, holy shit, where did this guy get all this crap from? Well, how does he know court is open 24 hours, seven days a week, 365? And since I'm the moving party and this is my court, can I hold court at 2.07 a.m.? And what will you do when, I, when your phone rings from the sheriff's department and the magistrate who's on duty calls you up and says, hey, this man says he has an immediate emergency motion that he wants to present to the court. And he needs the magistrate down here now. And he needs the judge down here or the presiding officer down here now. What are you going to do? He's like, oh, my God, you ain't going to get me up at 2 o'clock in the morning, are you? But this isn't uh, my court. This is on free. It's, uh, it's the same thing when a cop stops you on the side of the road and he needs a search warrant at 3.07 in the morning. He's going to wake up some fucking magistrate and says, I need you to sign me a search warrant. They will get up and they will do their freaking job. Do they like being woke up at 3.07? No. Do they appreciate that cop waking them up? No. You better have a hell of a drug bus, man. All right, well, this is scheduled for Wednesday at 7 p.m. I can show up there Monday and demand whatever my case is. Is it, your, is it your case? What? Is it your case? Did you pay a filing fee? Is it your case? I'm already been there answering. Is it you have case? Is it your case that you're appearing in, or are you appearing in somebody else's case? I'm appearing as the fiction spot, Jay O'Connell, 
Are you appearing in their case or your case? It's their case. Then you have no say. You are a punch and Judy, punk, bitch, nobody. Yeah, exactly. That's what you, have only, you have only what rights in which their rules provide to you. Yeah, if you don't exactly. challenge their, if you don't challenge their rules, you are just a part of a punch and Judy show. Did you challenge their law to say that their law does not protect my rights? Did you say that their law does not afford you the ability to move a court before a trial by jury? Did you challenge their law or challenge their rules of that court? If you didn't, you're just a punch and shooty show for them.